Hi, my dears. So we are together again. Happy to meet you again and welcome back to English class. I hope we finished the uh, reading of the poem, The Ballad of Father Gilligan in the last class. Didn't we? Yes. And today we are going to analyze the poem from the exam point of view. How we should study the poem for the purpose of examination. Examination is coming, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So naturally and commonly um, from the from a poem, uh, two types of questions can be asked. First is the comprehension questions and the next is an enough of appreciation. Okay, uh, let us analyze these two types of questions. Ready? Listen here. Okay, uh, this is the first type of question. Um, questions 6 to 9. Read the lines from the ballad of Father Gilligan and answer the questions that follow. This is the question uh, as the for the SSLC examination in the last year. Okay, so uh, here are the two stanzas from the poem, The Ballad of Father Gilligan. And here are four questions. Look at the first question. Pick out the two references in the first tensa that tell you the time is early morning. Time is early morning. There are two references to the time in the uh, in, in here here in the first paragraph. Sorry, first tensa. Can you identify the uh, that two references of the time early morning? Yes. The sparrow chirp, time of sparrow chirp. And the next reference is when the moths came once more. These are the two references. So you should write these two uh, lines as an answer. Okay. Next question. Identify an instance of alliteration in the first tensor. Alliteration. And I hope you know what is an alliteration. Repetition of same sound in the same line. Ure shabdam ure varil avartikinada. That is the repetition. Okay. So from the first tensa, look at the first tensa. In the second line, there is an alliteration. What it is? Uh -huh, yes. Moths more. When the moths came once more. So you should write. Are uh, the two words moths more and there is one more alliteration in the third line old priest Peter Gilligan priest Peter p, p sound repeated you know. so it also is an alliteration that is for two score then moths came once more. Examine the Priest Peter. Okay. Eighth question. How did Peter Gilligan express his sadness in not performing his duty? Duty How he is expressing his sadness? Just a word. Mavron, Mavron. That is the answer. Mavron. Kashtam. In the word. Yes. Ninth question. What did Peter Gilligan do once he realized his mistake? What did he do? Just he roused his house out of its sleep and rode with little care the last two lines. So this is the one type of question that should be asked uh, in the examination. Um, and we have uh, three poems for the SSLC examination from the Focus area. 
that is uh, first is lying with an inaudible string second is ballad ballad of father gilligan and there is one more mother to son so uh, from these uh, poems from one poem you you can expect a question like this okay and the second type is this is read the lines from the poem and prepare a note of appreciation focusing on its theme imagery and other poetic devices so prepare a note of appreciation and uh, here it is given two stanzas from the poem the ballad of father gilligan mm. yes the first two stanzas ningale ee rendu stanzide appreciation aanu ezhudendathu okay how can we write an appreciation idum sure question aanu nammal parna moonu poems adil ninn edengilum onnil ninn appreciation chodichirikku appo moonindeyum appreciation enganeyan ezhudunnadennu nammal krithyamayi padichirikkanam okay so how can we write a write an appreciation yes i think uh, we discussed it uh, in in the first uh, poem the lines written in an early spring so what are the features of an appreciation do you remember yes here it is <laughs> you can write the appreciation in three paragraphs what should be in the first paragraph yes introduction of the poem and the poet poet in the pera aaran ezhudiya the poet in the pera then background information about the poem e poet ne kurichu ningalku endengilum ariyamengil endengilum pratheega kaaryam ariyamengil adu ezhuda here we can write it's a ballad what is a ballad what do you mean by a ballad a ballad is a poem which tells us a story idu ningal first paragraph il ezhudana a ballad Uh, is a poem which tells us a story okay then theme of the poem and you know what is the theme of our poem the father uh, ballad of father gilligan what is the theme if we help others we will also get help in need when it is needed uh, we also get help when it is needed that is the theme of the poem so this should be written in the first paragraph name of the poem name of the poet and uh, what is a ballad and what is the theme of the poem so that's all three or four sentences and the paragraph 2 what you should write in the paragraph 2 second paragraph the brief summary of the poem and we discussed it in the last class what, what is the poem okay in the third paragraph you should write the poetic devices what are the poetic devices used in the poem and you will give the examples of the lines from the poem or your poetic devices in namukku thannittulla varigalile varigale nokki ingotte ediya madiya poetic devices varuna line ingotte edutha ediya madi that's all then conclude the appreciation with your opinion that's all okay so if you want to write the third paragraph we should know about the poetic devices used in the poem let us see what are the poetic devices used in the poem the ballad of father gilligan ready okay yes there are rhyming words in the poem the ballad of father gilligan then yes rhyme scheme visual images auditory images simile alliteration and rhythm these are the major poetic devices used in the poem the ballad of father gilligan so in the appreciation in the third paragraph you can start the third paragraph like this rhyming words rhyme scheme visual image auditory images simile alliteration rhythm etc are the poetic devices 
the poet used in the poem the ballad of father gilligan to make his poem more beautiful <laughs> then it is a very good sentence uh, the poet used these poetic devices to make his poem more beautiful okay so this is the first sentence you can write you may write other sentences also i am just suggesting this is a simple sentence okay then what would uh, what do you write then write the examples of each of these poetic devices from the lines okay let us see what are the examples for these uh, poetic devices okay find out the rhyming words and rhyme scheme of this paragraph class on the pause here vechitta notebook il ee stanza ile rhyming words um and the rhyme scheme um ezhudana ezhudittu mathrame thudarna class kaanavu okay yes day lay day lay these are the two rhyming words in this stanza നാല് വരി ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലും രണ്ട് ഒരു ജോഡി റൈമിങ് വേർഡ്സേ ഉള്ളൂ അപ്പോൾ മറ്റേത് രണ്ടും റൈമിങ് വേർഡ്സ് അല്ല സോ വോട്ട് ഇസ് ദ റൈം സ്കീം യെസ് എ ബി സി ബി എ ബി സി ബി ഇങ്ങനെ തന്നെ വേണം റൈമിങ് വേർഡ്സ് എഴുതാൻ സോറി റൈം സ്കീം എഴുതാൻ കോമയൊന്നും ഇട്ട് എഴുതരുത് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ലെറ്ററും എഴുതരുത് ലുഖിയർ എ ബി സി ബി ഇങ്ങനെ തന്നെ എഴുതണം So, A, B, C, B is the rhyme scheme. Now, you have to write the next sentence. A, B, C, B is the rhyme scheme of the poem. You have to write all the stands. 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 Okay? So, next poetic device. Visual images. and i think you know uh, what is a visual image nammal oru vari vaaikkumbo if we can uh, see that picture in our mind that's a visual image vaakmaya chitra words can create pictures in our mind that is visual image mental picture nammude poem adile stands a 1 4 5 8 and 9 there are visual images class pause il vecha ee anju stands ile visual image ne list cheyanam ennite thorana kelkavu okay list cheyu petta list cheyu visual images okay ningal ezhudiya visual images um teacher kaanikkan povunnadum koodi onnu compare cheyanam seriyano enna എന്നിട്ട് ടീച്ചർ എഴുതിയതിനേക്കാൾ കൂടുതൽ നിങ്ങൾ എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ശരിയായിരിക്കും ധാരാളം വിഷൽ ഇമേജസ് ഉണ്ട് അപ്പൊ സംശയമുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒരു വോയിസ് മെസ്സേജ് ഇട്ടോ ചോദിച്ചാൽ മതി ഓക്കെ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ദീസ് ആർ സം ഓഫ് ദ വിഷൽ ഇമേജസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റാൻസ ഫോർ ഹാഫ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ഫ്രോക്ക് വെയർ ഇൻ ദർ ബെഡ്സ് ഓർ അണ്ടർ ഗ്രീൻ സോട്ട്സ് ലെ ആ ബെഡിൽ ആശുപത്രി കിടക്കലിൽ കിടക്കുന്നതും ശവക്കല്ലറ മണ്ണ് മൂടിയ ശവക്കല്ലറയെ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിൽ കാണാം സ്റ്റാർസ് ബിഗാൻ ടു പീപ്പ് ആകാശ നിറയെയുള്ള നക്ഷത്രങ്ങൾ ദ സ്ലോലി ഇൻഡ് മില്യൻസ് ഗ്രൂ സ്റ്റാർസ് ബൈ റോക്കി ലൈൻ ആൻഡ് ഫെൻ ആ പാതയിലൂടെ ആ ചരല് നിറഞ്ഞ കല്ല് നിറഞ്ഞ പാതയിലൂടെ പോകുന്നത് നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിൽ കാണാം the all priest peter gilligan in grief swayed to and fro ingane ingane we can we can see that and there are so many other visual images also uh, you can find it out okay yes next next poetic device shall we go to that ready auditory images there are at least three auditory images in the stanza 5 6 and 8 class pause il vechitta ee moonu stanza il nokki auditory images onnu list cheyanam ennitte thodarnu kelkavu okay pettana list cheyu and i hope you know what is an auditory image oru oru vaadu vaaikkumbo line vaaikkumbo 
നമ്മുടെ ചെവിയിലേക്ക് ഒരു ശബ്ദം കേൾക്കുന്ന പോലെ തോന്നും ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓക്കെ ലീവ്സ് ഷൂ കിൻഡ് വിൻഡ് ഇല കാറ്റിലെ ആടുമ്പോൾ ഒരു മർമ്മര ശബ്ദം വരും ഇത് വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ആ ശബ്ദം കേൾക്കാം അപ്പോൺ ദ ടൈം ഓഫ് സ്പാരോ ചെർപ്പ് ഇത് വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ആ കിളികളുടെ ശബ്ദം ഇങ്ങനെ മനസ്സിൽ കേൾക്കാം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ സിക്മാൻസ് വൈഫ് ഓഫൻ ദ ഡോ കഥകി ഇങ്ങനെ തുറക്കുന്ന ഒരു ശബ്ദം നമ്മുടെ മനസ്സിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരും സോ ദീസ് ആർ സം ഓഫ് ദ ഓഡിറ്ററി ഇമേജസ് ഇൻ ദ ഫയം ദ ബാലഡ് ഓഫ് ഫാദർ ഗലിഗൻ ഓക്കെ ഹവ് യു ലിസ്റ്റഡ് ദീസ് ലൈൻസ് ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് പോയിറ്റിക് ഡിവൈസ് സിമിലി ദൈസ് എ സിമിലി ഇൻ ദ ടെൻത്ത് സ്റ്റാൻസ Look at this uh, 10th stanza and find out the simile. What do you mean by a simile? The end of the day, the compare to the other way is a simile. That is like or as. It is like that. It is as that. Right. Okay. Find out the simile. Yes. This is the line where there is a simile in the poem. When you were gone, He turned and died as merry as a boy. Yes, this is the simile. As merry as a boy. Are you going to do this? Why do you think this is a simile? Why do you think this is a simile? How? Why? Why is this a simile? How? Why? Why is this a simile? Tell me. Why? Why is it a simile? Tell me. Yes. Here, the man is compared to a bird. As merry as a bird. Uru pakshe pole sandosha vanyayi marichu. So that is a simile. Po e lines and appreciation tharinna dhengil, ningal adha avada avada simile ondu enna appreciation il eidhana. There is a simile in this line. Enna varanya t line eidhu tharinna. Okay. So that is. Next. Is the poem musical or rhythmic? That is the question. Yes, it is musical and rhythmical. Rhythmical and musical. That is. How, how it can be rhythmic? Let us see. Listen. I have no rest, no joy, no peace. For people die and die. And after cried he, God forgive, my body speak, not I. Okay. This is the first thing that you can do. You can do it in the first place. That's why we can do it in the first place. 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 Listen. I have no rest, no joy, no peace. For people die and die. And after cried he, God forgive, my body is paid, not I. The Vaikim Bo Namukka, Ya Chamanna Narathal Kaanen Da Vaakkal Aana Nannai Kheel Kala. Bhaakki Padinya Dile Kheel Kullu. Apo ye, Namal Stress Ye Inadu, Ye Chamanna Narathal Kaanen Da Words Aana. Iwa ye, Stressed Words or Syllables Inna Vahe. Apo Stressed and Stressed. സ്ട്രെസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതും സ്ട്രെസ് ചെയ്യാത്തതുമായ വാക്കുകൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സിലബസ് വാക്കുകളുടെ ഭാഗങ്ങൾ ഇങ്ങനെ ഇടവിട്ട് ഇടവിട്ട് വരു വന്നിരിക്കു വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ അല്ലേ ഐ എന്നുള്ളത് സ്ട്രെസ് അല്ല ഐ ഹാവ് ആ ഹാവിനാണ് അവിടെ സ്ട്രെസ് നോ റെസ്റ്റ് നോ ജോയ് നോ പേസ് ഫോർ പേപ്പർ പേപ്പ് ഡൈ ആൻഡ് ഡൈ ഇവിടെ ഡൈ ആൻഡ് എന്നുള്ളത് പതുക്കെ പറയുന്നുള്ളൂ ആൻഡ് ഡൈ ആൻഡ് ഡൈ അപ്പൊ ഡൈ ഡൈ അതിന് അപ്പൊ ഇങ്ങനെ സ്ട്രെസ്ഡും അൺസ്ട്രെസ്ഡും ആയിട്ടുള്ള വേർഡ്സ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സിലബസ് ഒന്നിടവിട്ട് വരുമ്പോൾ അതിനൊരു റിഥം വരും ആ റിഥമാണ് ഈ ഭയത്തിന് എൻ്റെ റിഥമിക് ക്വാളിറ്റി ഓർ മ്യൂസിക്കൽ ക്വാളിറ്റി നൽകുന്നത് സോ ദ ഭയം ഈസ് റിഥമിക് ഓൾസോ വിത്ത് സ്ട്രെസ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് അൺസ്ട്രെസ്ഡ് സിലബസ് 
and you can write in the uh, appreciation. The poem is rhythmic with stressed and, and stressed syllables. Okay. The line move back and forth between stressed and stressed syllables. Or you have stressed the syllable, then a then a stressed the syllable. I have no rest, nor joy, nor peace, for people die and die, and after cried he, God forgive, my body speak, not I. The stress pattern gives the poem its rhythm. Okay, you can write it in the appreciation. And there is uh, the other poetic device, alliteration. What do you mean by alliteration? Alliteration is the repetition of same consonant sound in the same line. One variable, one consonant sound repeated with another. Stanza on one, three, four, and five. In three minutes, we have the alliteration. Class on the class, we have the alliteration. This class is the alliteration of the list. This class is the alliteration. Okay, list the alliterations in these uh, stanzas. Okay, this is the uh, alliteration in the first stanza. Was very night and day. Was very. Were. Were uh, sound. Repeating the were. Sound. Next, have no rest, no joy, no peace. N, n sound is repeating. And the moth hour went from the fields, from the fields, f, from the fields. F sound is repeating. God covered the world with shade. World with w, w sound is repeating. So these are the alliteration in the poem the rhythm rhyming words alliteration and the rhyme scheme add to the musical quality of the poem if you want you can write this sentence also uh, in the appreciation okay so next question what is the tone of the poem appreciation la nammala tonum eludam poetinte tone endanennu kodi eludam what is the tone of the poem? Happy or sad? Tell me. Happy or sad? Yes. Surely it is sad. Alagal Marikiana, Alagal Roga Kadakilana, Namla Father Aga Vashimatilana. So it is the tone of uh, the tone of the poem is sad. But how does the poem end? Optimistically or pessimistically? <laughs> what do you mean by optimistically? Shubhapta Vishwasam. Elyam nannayi varyam. Enna Vishwasam. Optimistic. Then pessimistic. Pessimist or pessimistic view. Elyam jithi ayi ullu varyu. Malayalathilu chori le. Kheera mullu or agadhi chuvattilum. Chore thanne kodhugi inne kaudhuga. Pashwinde agadhi inna. അവസാനം What is the uh, end? Yes, surely it is optimistically. The poem ends optimistically. You can write that down the sentence in your appreciation. The poem ends optimistically. In the end, uh, the poem tells us that if we help others, if we do our job sincerely in a dedicated manner, we also will get help from others, from God or from others, that is. Namal endano chayinada, namal nanma chayidai, namukka nanma nanna thirichavittam. That is the theme of the poem. That is the message we get from the poem. So, the poem ends optimistically. 
uh, we, you can uh, finish or complete the appreciation with this sentence okay so that is how we can prepare a note of appreciation for the poem the ballad of father gilligan and uh, so i think you remember uh, we can write it in a in three paragraphs and now you write down a note of appreciation of the poem uh, the ballad of father gilligan in your notebook remembering these points you can write it down uh, prepare that note of appreciation and take a photo and send to me personally okay and when we meet in the class we can uh, discuss a model or a sample appreciation okay so see you in the class till then bye bye don't forget to send me your appreciation okay bye bye see you